Howdy folks, I'm Dudley the Donkey, and I'm just so proud to be here with you all this morning, and I'm pretty sure our friend Freddy the Frog is here too. You reckon y'all can help me call the little feller out here? One, two, three, Freddy. 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 Hi everybody. Freddy, I do declare, you look a mite peculiar today. Uh, what you wearing a tin can for? Oh, well, I heard that we were supposed to put on armor today. And I don't happen to have a suit of armor in my wardrobe. So I raided the recycling bin. And this is what I came up with. Well, that was right clever, you, Freddy. But you know, you really do have a suit of armor available to you. And it's heaps better than any old tin can. Wowzers, I have armor. Uh, did Mama buy it for me for Christmas and forget to give it to me? No. That ain't it, Freddy. The suit of armor you have is a kind of spiritual armor that comes only from God. And you can read about it in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 17. All of us who love and trust in Jesus have our own set of armor, the full armor of God. And we all need to put it on each and every day so that we can take our stand against the schemes of that nasty old devil. The devil... Aye, aye, aye. You mean the devil's scheming against me? He surely is. He wants to pull you away from Jesus. Well, I I'm not going to let him do that. I'm going to put on the full armor of God. Yee-haw. That's right smart of you, Freddy. And you can start by buckling the belt of truth around your waist. The belt of truth. Oh, yeah. And Jesus himself is the truth. So we can believe everything he says. And we can trust that he always keeps his promises. Right, Dudley? Yes, sirree. And next, you're going to want to put on the breastplate of righteousness. The breastplate of righteousness. Well, I guess when we're obedient to what God says, he protects our hearts from being wounded by sin. Yep, and it ain't always easy to do what's right, but the Holy Spirit helps us. And when we do make mistakes, 1 John 1, 9 says that we just got to confess what we've done wrong and ask God to forgive us and he will. That's fantastic. But what about my flippers? I mean feet. Does the armor of God come with shoes, Dudley? Surely. You just got to slip your little old toes into the gospel of peace. Because the good news that Jesus died and rose again, especially for us, means that we can have the peace of knowing that we're going to spend all of eternity in heaven with him. Yeah. And that's a peace that surpasses all understanding. I feel really peaceful inside when I think about being with Jesus forever. I declare, I feel right peaceful too, Freddie. I reckon our faith in Jesus is kind of like a shield that keeps us from being hurt by all the troubles in this world. You said it, Dudley. Our shield of faith is sure to stop any of the flaming arrows the devil might send our way. Yeehaw. Now you're catching on, Freddie. And just like the breastplate of righteousness protects our hearts, the helmet of salvation protects our minds. Jesus saved us from our sins, and he will surely help us to be right in our thinking. You bet. But when the devil tempts us to think wrong thoughts or do wrong things, we need to fight back. How can we do that, Dudley? Well, that's right simple, Freddy. All we got to do is grab hold of the sword of the Spirit, and that's God's Word, the Bible. And it contains all the information we need to know to help us to stand strong against the forces of evil. Well, we should probably pray a lot too. Right, Dudley? Yes, sir. We should pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. And we should pray constantly for all the Lord's people and frogs and donkeys too. And we must never forget the F R. Oh, gee, fully rely on God always. Yee-haw. Bye, everybody. I think I'm going to put my tin cans back in the recycling bin now because all I need is the full armor of God. Good thinking, Freddy. We'll see y'all real soon, folks. Y'all have a great week now. You hear? Bye.